Happy Easter. My name's Coleman, and this is, or was, ooh, that's a lot of blood, the Easter Bunny. Hey guys, like I said before, my name's Coleman. This is my life, and this channel is all about me showing you guys what my life is like in China. If you guys never been to another country and you guys want to see what living in a country is like, subscribe. If you guys want to know all the tourist spots, all the good food, all the ins and outs of living in Beijing or living in China for that matter, and when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I post a video. I'll be posting a video every Monday. Thanks for watching again. My name is Coleman and this is my life. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm going to make an, a rabbit pie and right now I just have to cut up my vegetables. I have celery, red onion, and carrots. I'm gonna stir fry these with the rabbit and then later on I will put actual mushrooms in the pie. Yeah, so I'm gonna slice these into thin little strips and then I'm gonna slice them into small little cubes. Yeah, so these aren't gonna be the smallest. I hate cutting stuff into super tiny little pieces and my knife skills are not the best but hey i'm not a chef either so that's about how how thick i have it and then i'll just slice it up i mean they're all different all the slices are kind of different sizes to be honest they're roughly about that that size now I'm going to just cut up my celery, but I'm going to wash it first. And then with the celery, I'm just going to kind of cut it up like I cut up the carrots. I'm starting to think all these vegetables are not going to fit in my little pie pan that I have. Yeah, so the recipe that I'm using costs for like one carrot and a bunch of, and like a couple of celery stalks, but I have a small pie pan and I don't think it's gonna fit all this stuff, to be honest, even though it will shrink. But I like to have a bunch of meat. I mean, it's a rabbit pie. It's not a vegetable pie with a rabbit in it. Now for my onion. Okay. And this also can cut into. All right, I got my rabbit carcass and Shan Shan is going to make uh, something with the rest of it, but what I'm going to do is just basically just cut it in half. And she'll use half, she'll use the front half, I'll use the back half. And so that's what we're going to work with. Oh, and by the way, I should say that I did not get this at a wet market. Let the olive oil heat up a little bit. Oh yeah, and I have like this cumin seasoning. I'm gonna put some cumin se seasoning on it. So I'm gonna turn the heat up before I put the rabbit in. Get my ear. Alright, so I'm going to remove the rabbit. It's, obviously, it's not cooked all the way through. It's just kind of brown on this side. But it's going to actually get cooked in the oven later. Put the 
click the right first. And yeah, I'm just gonna cook this for five minutes. I'm using a dry blackberry wine. The recipe calls for a dry white wine, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna use this. It's wine. I'm gonna pour the wine. And then I'm gonna cook the wine out, uh, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna let it cook on 190 for one and a half to two hours or until the meat falls off the bone and I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil so So my rabbit is done in the oven, it is out. I'm going to let this cool down for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up the belly. Not, not the shoulders, but there's some belly in there and I'm gonna cut that up. Little pieces of belly. Add the mushrooms to this. It's gonna be a big pie, and I took some of the vegetables out. And I'm not using half. I'm, it calls for the whole rabbit, but uh, I don't have a pie big enough for that. So, or I don't have a pie pan big enough for that. My pie crust actually, yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to fit. Okay, so this was in the fridge. It's the pie t top, but it's kind of hard. So I'm going to let this sit because I don't want to break it. It's not gonna be the prettiest. I was never good at making pretty things. I'm gonna bake this guy for 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. All right, she's done. It looked like she was leaking a little bit, but now it's time to eat it. All right, so it is time to eat. This is the back half of the rabbit, and this is the front half of the rabbit. Yeah, that looks super spicy, but Shenzhen said it tastes good. All right, let's pray and eat. Well, 
I don't think we can finish it. But that's it for the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny is no more. All right, so it's about time to clean the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Again, sorry I didn't post a video last week. I was just kind of busy and and I didn't feel like posting one, to be honest. Sorry about that. But I want to encourage everybody to stay at home, wear a mask, wash your hands, and do what's right. I'm going to, instead of, and I also feel bad posting videos of me outside, so I'll probably do less of that and do more videos of videos of me doing stuff inside to encourage you guys to also stay inside. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.